Proverbs chapter 23, verse 18. Surely there is a future, and your hope will not be cut off. To the friends and members of the congregation of Wood Lake Lutheran Church, good day. Today's opening reading sparks to our need to believe in hope during these unique times. As we see the current pandemic reaching record levels of illness and even death, our hope lies in the coming promise of vaccinations. We are in a traditional time of changing leadership for our nation, and this possesses a hope no matter your political leanings. As the individuals, this need for hope reaches out to each of us as we plan the coming year, prepare and complete needed taxes, and nurture ourselves as we transition from last year to the new year. A reading. Hebrews chapter 5, oh, chapter 6, verse 19. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain. In relation to the funding of our church, our hope lies with how we reach out to our community, prepare our church, and plan for ourselves. As example, our funding enabled Woodlake to partner with another congregation and bring to our team Daniel Dittmanson to connect with the youth of our church and our community. Another way is how we impact and prepare our church for needed repairs to planning and working toward coming together when vaccination levels increase. Our personal choices for stewardship with the church, traditional tax preparation, that creates planning for families for the coming year. This is a season of hope, and I thank you for your time and your continued stewardship for our church. I am Augie Schauer, serving as treasurer for our church, and until next week, when I have financial updates for the month of January after our upcoming leadership board meeting. I close with this reading. Psalm chapter 71, verse 14. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. Thank you.